Testing. Oh, we're going live now, boys? Okay. Well, we're getting ready for the starting lineups here tonight. Uh, Muskies come in tonight. 0-1, lost a close one to City High, 51-50. to And the Bettendorf Bulldogs come in 1-1, one and one, beating Cedar Rapids, Washington, 72-66. to And then they lost to Linmar, 54-51. to uh, Bettendorf's got Caden Wilkins. Um, he's their leading scorer with 46 points. He's been averaging 23 a game. Um, he shoots 42% from the floor. And uh, from the free throw line, he shoots 87%. He kind of does it all, really, looks like. Um, then they have Tatum Arguglio, who has 27 points, uh, 13 per game, 47% field goal. Uh, field goal shooter and he's 44 from three so that's someone they'll have to keep an eye on too and then another one of their leading scorers is asher wade he's got 14 points and he's of course averaging seven a game but he shoots 77 percent from the from the floor so that's that's pretty good there uh their leading rebounders wilkins uh he's got eight and leading assist is Wilkins. So like I said, he pretty much does it all. Um, leading three-point percentage shooter is Schrader for Bettendorf. He's a uh, 100%. He's only shot once, so he's one for one. And then um, they got a couple other guys that can shoot the three. As for the Muskies, uh, Wieskamp is the leading scorer with 19 points. Uh, he shoots 37% from the floor and 44 from beyond the arc. Uh, right now, he's shooting 100% at the free throw line. And then we have Henderson for the Muskies, who scores 13 points a game, and he's shooting right at 50% from the floor. Then the Muskies have Emmert, who's got eight points and shoots 22% from the regular field goal range, but then you get him out behind the arc, and he shoots 66% out there. So that's a pretty good number. So hopefully he can get hot out there at that in three land. Um, leading assists for the Muskies is Emmert and Hopner, both with three. Uh, rebounds, Hodges has got eight, Crayley's got five, and Wieskamp's got five. Um, three point percentage leaders for the Muskies are Emmert with 66%. He's two for three. Uh, we got Wieskamp, who's 44%. And he's four for nine. And Henderson's 20%. He's one for five. They're going through the starting lineups right now. Looks like uh, Lopez starting for the Muskies. And Cray. Is that right? Cray. 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 Cray is starting also. And number 11, Hopper. And 13 would be Emmert. And 15, of course, is Wieskamp. Now we're getting ready for the national anthem. So uh, I'm going to shut up for a second and let, let the American anthem be played.
starting lineup. And now I'm going to skip through the Bettendorf one real quick. Uh, we got number 11 starting, which is Zimmerman. Number 13 starting, Del Vecchio. Number 23, Caden Wilkins. That's their big stud. He's a six foot seven guard slash forward. Number 25 would be Tyler. And of course, number 33 would be Schrader for the Bettendorf Bulldogs. And like I said, Bettendorf's 1-1, one and, one, and the Muskies are 0-1 oh coming into the night. But those are kind of warm-up games for them to just get started. Looks like uh, Wieskamp will be jumping against Schrader from Bettendorf. Ooh, that was a kind of a bad... That's kind of thrown over towards Bettendorf. So it's kind of an easy tip to Bettendorf. Muskies are in man. Just got to figure out how to control Wilkins. Good drive to the hoop. Ooh, good reach. Almost got the steal, and they did get the steal. Good steal by number five, Craig. Craig. He gets it inside and gets... Well, looking for a foul, but he didn't get it. Muskies in man again. And there's a steal. This should be two right here. You just got to be smart about it. Oh, good hard foul there by name Wilkins for Bettendorf. So we'll be going to the line for two. Wish he could have got that to fall and get the and one, but just go ahead and take two two points here. Zero zero in the first quarter. Seven twenty three buck. Oh. Off to the right there for that one. Cray. There, that one's nothing but net. Kind of a little bit of a three-quarter press here for the Muskies. Oh, 11 drives straight to the hoop. Del Vecchio for Bettendorf, making it two to one. Kind of step in front of him. If anything, take a charge there. Good defense down underneath. Off Cray. Cray E. I'm going to have trouble with that. Trying to get their ball in to number 11, Hopper. And move without the ball, guys. Move without the ball. Luis Camp over on the corner. Cray underneath for two. Making it 3-2, Muskie lead. That's a good look there. Once again, we got, kind of got that. It's not really, it's just not a press. It's just uh, Lopez is d up hard. Blocking the baseline. Good defense. Don't let him push you around in there, Wees Camp. Good. Look at the fundamentals right there of blocking out. That was, that's really good. I like seeing that fundamental basketball still being taught, being blocking out like that. Because there wasn't anybody close that was in a Bettendorf jersey there for a rebound. Pass over to Lopez at the corner. Not really the corner. Oops. Emmert. Back to Wies Camp. Back over to Lopez. He thought about a shot, took dribble in and off the glass missed, but he got his own rebound. There you go, following your shot. That's just good fundamental basketball right there, guys. Followed his own shot and he got the board. Good movement. Wies Camp. Pump fake. Now he drives there for two off the corner. Making it five to two, Muskies. Their number 33 hasn't really gotten anything going yet. Good defense. Step in front of that pass there. Good pass there by 23. Good pass by Wilkins over to Schrader. This is a good, I mean, good drive over. Good, good to see that. 
So now with the chance for N1. Did the basket go? There's one. The basket must not have fallen. So he's shooting two. Now it's five to three. And five to four. We got a substitution. Number 15 for Benton North. Arugulo back in. And then now we got Bettendorf running a little bit of a hard defense by number 25 there at the full court, Tyler. Got on his arm there. Wieskamp pass with a little Aaron over. Dribble. Dribble penetrate all the way by number one, Lopez, and he draws the foul. The littlest guy on the court drives right down the middle and says, okay, I'll take it. So now he'll be shooting two. Aiden Lopez, junior, five, seven. Well, that can't be right. Second one. Good. Six four now, Muskie's lead. Picking him up right away. 13, Sam Eppert. Emmert, sorry, my bad. Good, solid defense. He just traveled. Good, solid defense. Shot from the three by number 15. Rebound, go. Wow, that was pretty impressive right there. Trying to... Looks like Bettendorf switch over to a 2-3 zone. Oh, nope, they're still. Yeah, it is a 2-3 zone. Wieskamp drains it for two more. They're off the elbow. Making it 8-4, to four, pushing it up hard to court. Number 15 for Bettendorf. Arugulo, he traveled. Thank you. Number 13 with the first turnover, Spencer Vecchio for Bettendorf. Bringing the ball up, number 11, Hopper. Being guarded by number 25, Tyler, who is all over him. Now they've gone back to uh, man. Oh, fighting through the pick, number 13. But they're going to call him a foul on number 13 because Del Vecchio kind of ran through that pick there. Trying to play defense there. Good start for the Muskies, though. Up 8-4. I don't know if anybody was here for the, I believe that was a sophomore game. Yeah, that went to, Muskies had a good lead there. And uh, went to overtime and ended up losing in overtime. Kind of a little heartbreaker for him. From the corner, number 23. That was Wilkins missing. Driving in Wilkins, and he gets the easy two. Now, see, I don't, I don't like it when they kick the ball out of bounds after they make a basket. That's just like, I don't know. That's just me. Just let him get the rebound and Lopez back up to Hopper. Top of the key, crossover. Tries to drive in, gets it knocked away. I think that was number 13 that knocked it away was Del Vecchio, but it does go off Bettendorf, so it is still musky ball. They're going to be taking it out from the side, right in front of the Bettendorf bench. Back out to number 11, Hopper. Dribble penetrates in. Kicks it back out for a three. Oh. 13, Emmer missing the three. Oh, that's, how is that? A blocking foul on Hopper on the other end. Quick transition for Bettendorf back. At two minutes left in the first quarter. Well, 227. 
Muskies lead 10 to 6. Going to the line two is Arulio. Probably slaughtering his name, but. Coming in now for the Muskies, number two, Hodges. Taking a breather. It looks like that was second one good. Looked like Emmert was taking a break. A move, ball is move without the ball. 11 at the top of the key. Hopper, help him. Lopez, trying to move without the ball, guys. Number two, Hodges, and it gets stolen. Go oh, number fifteen with the dunk on the other end. That's Argulo making it a tie game. Oh. Lopez driving over to the corner for three in and out. Steal by number two, Hodges. He's going to take it the other way. Oh, good. Good block. Oh, you use the glass there, bud. Use the glass. Number five, Craig. In the corner for a three. Number 25 for Bettendorf. Tyler Bettendorf is starting to get something rolling now. He just take a deep breath, boys. We're all right. Luis can't bring it up across to Lopez. Back to Hodges. Cray driving. Back over to Hodges for three. Gosh, they just can't buy one. In and out. Outlet pass wide open. Transition defense. Got to get back, guys. Now down 15 to 10. That was a pretty quick turnaround. Lopez, Luis Camp. Luis Camp dribbling, penetrating in. Trying to make something happen and gets one to roll in. Making it 12 to 15. Crossover. 43 on the corner three again. Ew, off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Craig. Lopez. Was that Lopez that drove in there? Yeah. No. Hodges. Hodges drives in with five seconds left on the clock. Get a chance to make it 14 to 15 after one. Come on, drain these. Nice. 13 now. Big substitution. From head coach Torelli. We got 5.3 seconds left. 13, 15, Bettendorf. And he does make the second one. Hodges makes both of them. Oh, 23 misses three, so Wilkins misses a three. They've kind of, I mean, they've shut Wilkins down, though. That's the impressive thing is they're shut down their leading scorer, but we're going to go ahead and take a TV timeout, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. 
We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Turf quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for underneath. yourself. Affordable metal manufacturing provides cut-to-length rolled metal panels for commercial, residential, and agricultural roofing. We take pride in delivering our products with a short lead time, normally three days or less. Our panels are cut to the nearest eighth of an inch for greater efficiency and less waste. Affordable metal can even roll your panels on site. Call today for a free quote and let us become your preferred supplier. Affordable metal manufacturing. Our business is rolling. We know Rivo as expert plumbers, but... Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now, we're, are we back? Okay, now we're back, guys. Uh, we had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Nothing nothing big there, but uh, Wilkins just made his second bucket of the night for the Bet North Bulldogs, making it 19-14. to 14. We started out the second quarter with the ball and had a really nice look underneath, and it just didn't quite fall for us. Oh, get an aired pass by, I believe that was 13, was Emmert. Trying to get the ball to Lopez and it just didn't work out. So we got a turnover and Metnor has the ball, bringing it up now. Number 15, Arguello. Wilkins with a little pump fake, drives. And yeah, I'm a, yeah 23 got him there. Uh, Henderson got him. I'm surprised they let him play that that far into it. He did a nice little pump fake, dribbled right in, and threw the foul. So he'll be going to the line for two. First one does go. Making it 20 to 14 Bulldogs. And the second one is good. 21-14 Bulldogs here. Lee's camp. Hodges at the top. Can't tell who that is over there in the corner. That's Henderson. So that's a pick down low. Looks like the bet north tipped off of. 43 for Bettendorf. That's Kirkhoff. And he just comes down. And 13 comes back in for Bettendorf. Del Vecchio. Got to move. 
Oh, good. That steal there by 15 or duo. And he takes, and he traveled. Thank you. So nothing hurt on the turnover. We get the, we get the ball back. He's can't uh, throw it in. Emmert brings it up. Now the game has changed quite a bit because I mean to me that's nice pump fake. Good look. It's like oh use a glass. Use a glass. Charge the whole way. No. Getting the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player there, Wilkins. The foul was on, I believe it was on Hodges. Yeah, he does miss the first one. That's the first missed free throw he's had of the night for Wilkins. And he's up to six points. He does make the second one, making it 22 to 14 Bulldogs. Muskies bringing up cross court. Bettendorf back in. <laughs> 23. Henderson with an Aaron throw over to Hodges. And he gets away from him and goes out of bounds. So Bettendorf will inbounds. It's got to be how many turnovers is that? Like five? Good dribble penetration. Over the. Ah, they don't call that anymore. I forgot. Jump ball situation. Ball, ball alternate possession should be Bettendorf. Really? Well, we brought the ball in for the quarter, guys. That's Bettendorf ball. Yeah, it's Bettendorf ball. So down 14 to 22 with four minutes left. A little bit over four minutes and a half, over four and a half left in the second quarter. Oh, good steal by Hodges. Looking to in for the bucket, number 11, Hopper. See how you use the glass there? And it, good look. 23, Wilkins driving in, gets the roll. He's starting to get heated up now, guys. He started out a little bit slow, and now he's getting heated up. He's up to nine points. I just thought about a three. Getting now, Wilkins gets a block on Emmert. Oh wow! Then he misses the layup, driving through number fifteen, Arguello. Then he missed the layup. Good dribble penetration, three in the corner. Did he get fouled? Did he get fouled? Weiss Camp got fouled on a three by number 13. And that would be Del Vecchio. I think that's his third already, isn't it? It's got to be close. I know he's got two, but Weiss Camp will go to the line and shoot three now. First one rims out. Rims in, I mean. But he's got two more. Got the roll on that one, 17-24 now. Ooh, that went off the back of the rim. 17 to 24, he's got one more left. We've got a substitution in here, Lopez in for Emmert. Luis Camp, nothing but net for the Sector of the third one, so he's two out of three from the line, making it 18 to 24. Bettendorf. Good, good defense. Way to rotate. 
Wieskamp tries to get it in, but kind of lost the bounce. Uh-oh, three, transition three. That's our ball, that went off Bendorf. That's right, went off number 33, Schrader. Wieskamp to inbounds ball. 18-24, Bettendorf lead. Reese Camp over Hodges. Three! There's a money ball there, 21 to 24 now. Why was that not a, was he on the line? Uh-oh, three on the other end. Front rim, no good. Rebound block by Hodges. Low, or no, 11. That's Hopper. Over to Wee's camp. I thought that was a three by Hodges over there on the corner. Kicking the ball around and then laying it in. Oh my, number five. Crayley, Cray. Uh oh. Nice pass. Wow, what a, I mean, Wilkins driving the lane there, driving the baseline, and then he's just like, it, they call, they fall down on him, and he just whoop, finds the open guy and lays it in for two. Good pass, now a steal on the other end by number 15, that's uh, Argulio Wilkins from the corner, no good, rebound, long rebound. Slow down, we don't have the numbers, we don't have the numbers. Lopez from the corner, way long. Just slow down. Slow down. We didn't have numbers there, guys. Wow. Pretty good shot there by... Got a timeout. 28-22. Just when we start to pull in a little bit, get some bad breaks. and 30-second timeout by a coach. So we're going to... 30 second timeout. Like I said, uh, Wilkins was their big dog coming in, and he's up to nine points. Uh, 25 is Tyler. Or, no. 23 has, yeah, nine points. And seven points for number 25, Tyler. Muskie is leading the way. It looks like. Number 15, Wieskamp with eight. The Muskies ball, Wieskamp the, gets it in to Hopper. Back to Wieskamp. Hang on. Over Hopper. Back to Lopez. Oh, good. Oh, wow. He got up to block that. Wilkins got up to block that. Good inside look. Wilkins underneath with the assist from number 43, Kurkoff. Making it 30 to 22 now. Please camp. Back to Hopper. Back to Lopez. Over to number 23, that would be Henderson, who drives in, draws the foul. It's not a shooting foul, so it'll be inbounded underneath the basket. Back in is Emmert for the Muskies. Down 22 to 30. We need to score here, guys. 54 seconds left till halftime. Help. Hopper. Over to Emmert back out. Henderson in and draws the foul. Nice move. Dribbles in. Henderson a senior. And he's gonna try to get the end one here. Making it 25 to 30. Good defensive stop too. Get a turnover. Let them miss a shot or two. Get a rebound and maybe get the last shot of the half. Off the front of the rim, but it does roll in for him. Got that shooter's roll. 
So it's 25. Ooh, got a steal. There it is. Play that in. Whoa, we him foul. So it's 25 to 30 with 38 seconds. Great steal by Emmert. And that puts us in the bonus. So he'll be shooting one and one here. Chance to make it 27 to 30 for the Muskies. So at the line from one and one is Emmert. First one good. So it's 26. Make this. Who's back on D? They got number. Misses the second one. Rebounded to one with his Schultz. Oh, good pass into Schultz from Wilkins. Wow. Making it 32 26. We got time. 26 seconds left before half. Hopper. Over to Emmert. Back out to Hopper. Corner for two short. 11 seconds left. Wilkins bringing it up the floor. Oh, little cross behind the back move. Drives in, lays it off. Time. Emmert heaves it towards the basket at the end. We're going to take a TV timeout for halftime here, folks, with the Muskies down 26 to 34. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. physical therapy. Feel better, move forward. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. Hustler Turf quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Turf quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery oh. smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. <laughs> Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. I did. 
Affordable metal manufacturing provides cut-to-length rolled metal panels for commercial, residential, and agricultural roofing. We take pride in delivering our products with a short lead time, normally three days or less. Our panels are cut to the nearest eighth of an inch for greater efficiency and less waste. Affordable Metal can even roll your panels on site. Call today for a free quote and let us become your preferred supplier. Affordable Metal Manufacturing. Our business is rolling. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Turf quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone can make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Affordable metal manufacturing provides cut-to-length rolled metal panels for commercial, residential, and agricultural roofing. We take pride in delivering our products with a short lead time, normally three days or less. Our panels are cut to the nearest eighth of an inch for greater efficiency and less waste. Affordable metal can even roll your panels on site. Call today for a free quote and let us become your preferred supplier. Affordable metal manufacturing. Our business is rolling. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home.
Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially in the strength and durability of our mowers. So you know your Hustler will stand the test of time. We think the difference is obvious. With our welded fabricated steel deck, high strength 11 gauge one piece frame, and the precision control of our smooth track steering, anyone can mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. turf quality matters especially when it comes to the driving experience let's take a closer look our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze unlike the jerky feel of other options our smooth track steering is so effortless anyone could make short work of the lawn hustler turf mow like a pro stop in to muscatine lawn and power at 2020 stewart road to see hustler quality for yourself Okay, guys, here we are back for the second half. Uh, Benton North with the 34 to 26 lead over the Muskies. Leading score for Benton North, Wilkins with 13 points. He's starting off a little bit slow in the first quarter with two, and then he kind of got rolling in the second quarter a little bit. Uh, for the Muskies, leading score, Wies Camp with eight points. We got to just kind of keep doing what we're doing. Um, maybe do a little bit better. You know, on the glass a little bit if we're missing shots, but they're doing a lot of good things out there. So hopefully they can finish strong here and and get a W. Lee's camp thought about it there for a second. Emmert driving the corner gets the. How is that not goaltending? How is that not goaltending? Blocked it. Oh, good pass by Wilkins and number 33 with the shot. That's Schrader. I still think that's goaltending on the other end. We just got a point there. I mean, yeah, he went up on the glass and knocked it off the glass, but man, I thought that was on the way in. Lee's camp. Dribbles in. And then loses the ball. Pass up to Wilkins, who goes up, misses and three, two rebounds back to back by the Bulldogs, driving into Wilkins again. Pump fakes, goes up, gets his own rebound and makes it, makes it 36-26 and we got a quick timeout by Coach Torelli. 38-26 here for the Bulldogs, take a quick jump out, take a quick, uh, expand their lead. Man. Had that good look on the inside, and then, whoa, what's, you got a girl doing backflip, cheerleader doing backflip down the whole court. Holy moly. That was impressive. Wow. She did the whole basketball court doing backflip. I'd be like, bleh. can't believe it. I mean, wow. That was impressive. never seen that before so it should be musky ball looks like 
Lee's camp will bring it in or toss it in to 11 Hopper, who will be met by Tyler. Tyler picking him up right away. Lopez on the corner. Lee's camp. Over to Emmert. Back over to Wieskamp, who steps back, gets the three look, in and out. Man, this can't buy a break. Wilkins driving down the court over to Tyler. Long rebound, Wieskamp. Go. Bettendorf good on their transition defense. They get back pretty quick. Lopez, good look inside to Emmert. Back to Wieskamp for two. 28-38 in the corner. Tyler for three off the back of the rim, and that should go off Schrader. Number 33, Schrader kicks it out of bounds, trying to get... Thought maybe, I think he was thinking somebody was going to get a rebound and he was going to try to steal it. So bringing it up, Hopper, and on him is Tyler. He gets it to East Camp. Ever, ooh, reach, reach. Thank you. That's his third. Should be his third foul. On number 15, Arguello. And he's going to go take a seat with his third foul, coming in to replace him, number 43, Kirkhoff. Got to tuck that jersey in. Muskies inbound. Emmert. Dribbles to the top of the key. Kicks it back to Hopper. Over to Lopez, who thinks about getting it in the trade. Good. They're moving without the ball pretty good. Good defense by Bettendorf. We can't try to do a little back door there. Over to Lopez. Back over to Emmer. We got three seconds left on the shot clock. Hopper from the corner. Long three. Tyler up ahead. There's Wilkins. Drives in, does a little push off, but gets away with it. No, 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 it wasn't there. Lopez. Luis Camp. 13, Emmer does a little pump fake at the three, dribbles down, tries to do a backdoor lane for two. Nicely done. Tyler bringing it up for Bettendorf Bulldogs, who are now up 38 to 30. And just when you think we're going to get something going, Wilkins says, I'm going to take the ball on this one. Making it a 10-point game again. Luis Camp three. Outlet pass ahead. Yep. Laid in for 13 for Del Vecchio. It's a good outlet pass. And Luis Camp. Hoffner over to Lopez. Luis Camp dribbles it and Hoffner thought about three. Emmer. Good, solid defense there by the dog. Effort loses the dribble, but picked up by Lopez. He dribbles, kicks it over to Hopper. Back out to Luis Camp. We're down to three seconds again. He has to force something up. No, I thought he got it up before it went off. Just really good defense by Ben. No open looks. Down 42 to 30 with three minutes left, in the, a little bit over three minutes left in the third quarter. Tyler. Crossover kicks it out. Long three. 
Rebound Bettendorf. Tyler drives in and gets, I believe, I think that's Emmerich that's going to get the foul. So is that a shooting foul? Yep, shooting foul. So Tyler will go to the line for two. First one, good. Forty-three now to thirty with second one and off the rim and twenty-one Schultz for Bettendorf with a push. Hopper bringing the ball up. Pass over to Henderson. Henderson dribbling around to take it all the way. Stolen away, but stolen back. Emmert thought about a three. Good pump fake to rotate over. Get the four. There you go. Little reach foul there by 13. Del Vecchio, that should be his third as well, I believe. So, Muskies will be inbounding, inbounding from underneath the basket. A good look at that three by Emmer there. That was a good pump fake. Um, just couldn't get it to fall. Out. Up to the top, Henderson. Thinks about it. Over to Hopper, back to Hodges. Hodges almost gets it away. Emmert for three. Off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound number 11. Zimmerman for Bettendorf. Oh, tried to pass across the middle. Good steal there by Henderson. We got another foul on Bettendorf. Number 43. Kurt Koff. They're just, they're up to four fouls already. So Craig over to Hopner and then back to Hodges. Hodges trying to dribble, penetrate. Euro step in and just can't get the roll and then he gets a little reach foul. Man, they just, they've had looks and opportunities, just nothing's falling for them. Wilkins into Zimmerman, who's bringing it up. Good, hard foul there. Make him earn that. I don't have a problem with that foul. He tried to go in and dunk it and... I think it was, was it Hodges that got him? Going to the line for two is Wilkins. Back of the rim for the first one. So, no go on that one. Second one. For Wilkins. Up. Nice. Nothing but net. Gosh, darn it. Go over to Anderson. Need some help. Travel though. Hodges traveled there. Turn over. So the Bulldogs will take it in from the side. Wilkins to I believe number 11 is Zimmerman. Zimmerman's in. Good in for setting, trying to set a pick. Good switch off. Wilkins with a little fadeaway J. For two more, making it 44, 46 to 30. Emmer. Back to Hopper. 
back to Hodges. Shoot that. There's a three for Hopper. Finally, we got one to fall. 30 to 46 now. Wilkins drives, passes off. Nice drive, passes off. Number 21, Schultz for two. Easy lay in. Anderson. Back out to Hodges at the top of the key. Over to Hopper. Back to Henderson. Reese Camp. Emmert. Oh, good. Way to bring it out. Off of 21, which is, I believe, Schultz for Bettendorf. Emmert hoping for the foul there, but didn't get it. Good way to go back out, kind of spread it out a little bit, and then try to dribble in and score. Gosh, dang, they are... Get in there. That counts. That's count. It's before the buzzer. Two points for Henderson. Nicely done. Plus, I thought he got fouled. 35-48 at the end of three, folks. We're going to take a TV timeout here, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. Tyler. See how they spread the floor. Wilkins will dribble. Ooh, he got away with one there. Corner three. Good for number 11, Zimmerman. Ooh, ball. Oh. Missed it. Time out, time out, time out. Jump ball. We got a jump ball. That's ours. Good. Substitution for the Bulldog. Coming in as number 13, Del Vecchio, and number 15, Arguello. They're the ones that uh, were in a little bit of foul trouble, so they got three fouls for both of them, so they got fourth quarter, they figure they can come back in. Hodges, back over to Henderson. Oh, triple. Henderson. Please camp top the key. We're getting down to 15 seconds on the shot clock. Walking foul on number 15. Argue will, and he picked up his fourth right there. So with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter, they're going to sit him down. Bettendorf's up 51 to 35. Good move, guys. Anderson gets the ball. 
to Hodges. Inside look, we got a foul before the pass. Craig, who had an easy layup, but we had a foul. Must be a reach. On number 43, Kirkhoff. It's his second. So inbound pass, Craig. East Camp, Anderson. Down to 17 seconds left on the shot clock now again. Hopper over to Henderson. Nice cut. Oh, he's got to hang on to the pass. Good steal by Henderson. No foul. No foul. Wow. Good no look pass there to Tyler on the other end. Good transition defense, though. Wilkins from the corner for three. No good. Rebound. Hodges kicks it up. How is that not goaltending, but we can't put the follow? Making it 37 to 51. We got a charge on number 33, Schrader. Nicely done. Nice defense there by. Uh, Henderson, he's paying for it though. <laughs> Bounce on your butt, buddy. Bounce on your butt. Please can't bring it up. 37-51. Ooh. Well, Aaron pass there to Emmert. Please camp. Back to Lopez. Back over to Weiss Camp. Dribbles and they just fundamentally their defense is really good. Kind of taking lanes away. Nice dribble there by Hodges. Come around the corner and score two. Making it 39 to 51 with five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Wilkins outlet pass. Off the back of the rim, number 11, Zimmerman. Emmert up. Whoa. Emmert, shoot that. Get in there. Nice three. 42 to 51 with 4.51 left. Timeout. Bettendorf. Coach Clark says we need to stop this momentum that the Muskies are building. Woo. That was a nice three there by Emmert. That was Finally get a couple shots to drop. Good ball movement. And we need to turn over a couple, three turnovers now. And score, get on a little run here. 51-42 with almost five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Third time to come back here. Keep working hard, boys. Okay. Bettendorf will bring it in underneath the basket. Bringing the ball up the court. Wilkins being guarded by number five, Tyree. Good defense. That's a jump ball. They're going to call a foul on number five, Kyrie. Come on, D. Come on, D. Into Wilkin. Oh, Wilkins got blocked. Oh, and then he stepped on the line. Coming in now is team for Bettendorf, Arguilio. Come 
come on defense. Down to 16 seconds left on the shot clock. Tyler drives baseline, gets it to fall. Bummer. How do they get everything to fall? Hodges. Emmer. Trying to get it to clear out to over to East Camp. Back over to Hodges. Off the front of the rim there. Just missed it. Head nice block by Lee's Camp. Kyrie with the rebound, and wow, I thought he got away with it. Use the glass, good rebound. See, that's you use the glass. You, Lee's Camp with a good rebound, and he, he used the glass in his court. Cut, boom, points 44 to 53. Trying to drive. Look, how did that fall? How did he just like threw it up and it fell? And it went in. Unbelievable. He's up to 20 points. Emmer. Draws the foul by Wilkins. So Emmer's will go to the line for two. 2.52 left in the fourth. Bulldogs lead 55 to 44. Emmers, first one is good. Anderson coming in for Kyrie. Rebound, Wilkins. We can't kind of trying to slow him down there. Wilkins, nothing there. Tried to dribble in. Thought about a three for Wilkins there. Corner. That's on the line. That's on the line. Who's on the line? 58-45 now. Luis can't pass to Hodges. And collision there, but no foul called. We got a foul called on the other end. The illegal screen. Looks like. It's number four on number 15. That's Argula. We're getting a substitution for Hodges. Because he cracked his lip open or something. He's bleeding somewhere on that collision. Lee's camp. Back to Lee's camp. He slips a little bit. And Lopez. Timeout. Wow. Good hustle. Lee's camp. Shoot that. Off the back of the rim. Rebounded Wilkins. Wilkins slows it down here. Dribbles in, out, pass over, back to Wilkins for three. Off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Bettendorf. Uh oh. Bettendorf got somebody down. Del Vecchio. Well, that's good that he's okay. Bettendorf leads 58 to 45 with a minute 32. I think it must be called him out. I think they did. Yep, Muskie's called timed out. The last one. Um, 58 to 45 with a minute 32 left in the fourth. 
Need some really good defense here. And a lot of threes. <laughs> but it can be done. Once again, uh, Wilkins has kind of gotten hot over there for Bettendorf. He's up to 22 points. Wieskamp's got 14 for the Muskies. He's the leading scorer for the Muskies. So maybe get the ball in his hands and see what he can do. Bettendorf should be getting the ball underneath here. Off to the side. Ball to Wilkins. Shot clock. I'm sure they'll start milking the clock a little bit here. <laughs> Bear hug by Kyrie there. <laughs> minute 21 left that's just a be an inbound pass now for Bettendorf and we got a long ways to go before they're in the we gotta get four more fouls before they're starting to shoot free throws so that's uh, one of the bad things about when you, you're trying to get fouls and You've only had three the whole second half. <laughs> so inbounding from the side again should be Benton North. Oh, wow. Everybody there is on D for... Zimmerman, he just drives in and gets an easy two on a layup. Emmers, fade away. Good. 47 to 60, 55 seconds left. Pass over to Zimmerman. So Wilkins. Zimmerman, oh man, could have drove right there. Got 44 seconds left in the Zimmerman who passed around. Could have scored again. Back out to Tyler. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Wow, Bettendorf fans singing the uh, hey, hey, goodbye. Wilkins inside for two more, making it 62 to 47. That should this will be the should be the last test. Emmer driving in draws the foul on number 13, Del Vecchio, and that is number four for Del Vecchio. We're on the bonus, so one and one. That's kind of a pointless foul there. First one off by Emmers and Wilkins is just going to walk it up the court and uh, run the clock out and the Bulldogs will get the W and the Muskies will fall 47 to 62. Thanks a lot for listening in tonight. This is Toby Lehman again and we appreciate all that listen and watch and hopefully we'll see you back here in a couple, three days. Thanks again.